Hey YouTube, you might be wondering why am I in the dark today? Well, I decided today's the day to do a little update on the Acer Predator X34. Is the backlight bleed still good on my, my unit or is it getting worse over time? Well, let's, uh, let's find out here. So, we are in the dark. We can see, uh, <laughs> well, let's, let's see here. You can see a little bit in the corners here. We're just running some video here. This is a really old uh, Age of Conan. Uh, I just had this on here. Uh, let's flip here to, uh, here we go. We got some white and we're gonna switch to black here. Oh dear, we've lost focus. And you can see terrible, terrible problems here with black light bleed uh, over time. Uh, here we go. That there you go. Yeah, you can see it there. It uh, it does not actually look that bad in person, but my goodness, it picks it up really strong on the camera. Um, you you can see a very exaggerated. But what what I'm making this video to show you today is basically over time. Uh, let's switch the video. It'll focus a little bit better here, and it won't exaggerate quite as badly the backlight bleed this gives you a little better actual view you can see a little bit in that corner hey like like right there like yeah like there's some bleed there in the corners there uh, and if you if you've watched my other videos you'd know it wasn't quite that bad it was it was a lot better you know what the biggest single difference made is carrying this thing with the handle and handling it, you know, balancing it with my hand and pressing on the panel, carrying it to LAN parties. LAN parties ruined this monitor. Ah, you know, it's it's not really that bad. I uh, I still love this screen. I've been using it for quite a while now. Um, I have to double check when I actually bought it, but I think it's uh, it's been not a year yet, but we're getting there. Uh, and it, but it's been great. I love it. The G-Sync works good. It's a fun monitor to have. Well, fun. It's fun to look. It's great to look at. It's enjoyable. I really like it. Um, but be warned, if you move your monitor around from room to room, if it doesn't stay stationary, uh, the chances of it getting worse backlight bleed over time from handling it, they are real. It will. It will. Uh, and it's as simple as like you, you grab it a little too hard and it's going to change how the diffuser layer in there is situated and it makes your backlight bleed worse. I've seen it before with cheap Korean panels and here we see it with a production panel that's mainstream uh, aimed at gamers, luxury item. It's not some eBay crap that picked up from Korea but the backlight bleed is real man and ladies and everything else in between aliens bears yeah anyways uh thanks for checking out the video uh you know uh comment below if you've had similar situations like where your backlight bleed on this monitor has gotten worse over time uh i'm not sure like what monitors everyone's buying today because you know i've been so happy with this i've actually stopped shopping around as much i was really looking forward to uh to get in this for such a long time and I still love it. Anyways, it's a good monitor. They're still for sale. Um, Asus finally has their competitor out for this. Uh, they released it a while back, uh, but it took just bloody forever. Uh, anyways, it's a good monitor still, but backlight bleed beware. Give me a shout out. Are the new models of this, like the new, sorry, the fresh stock, fresh inventory still having issues? Hmm. Let's find out in the comments, hey? Eh?